Hey everyone, Katherine King here, and I am going to go through and talk about all the scents of the month for this past year. I have all of them either printed or I had them. Um, so what I'm gonna do is go through each scent that Scentsy brought out. Bella's whining today. Um, throughout the year. Um, so as you know, since he has a scent of the month, they also have a warmer of the month. So I am going to talk about the scent. And then at the end, I am going to rate them in order of, um, like my preference or, um, ones that I really, really, really loved. So it looks like today though, the dog that's going to be causing us some issues is going to be Miss Bella. So Let's hope that they don't bug us too much. All right, so let's get started. January. January, um, I was not part of Scentsy. This was, I started in February. And so this, I um, didn't have a whole lot of exposure to. I started February 1st. I did get the scent. The first, let's get started, right? Okay, the first scent is Jade and Jasmine. It's a pretty green wax. Okay, so Jade and Jasmine. The description, it's a fresh scent, and it says start with green lemon, blue jasmine, garnished by rosemary in this gem of a fragrance. So, to me, this is masculine. Um, there, The bottom does smell a little different than the top uh, of it, I think just because they sit like this. So the top one is top notes, clementine, pineapple, green lemon, mid notes, uh, petite grain. I don't know what that is. Blue jasmine and rosemary base notes, white, amber, musk, and oak. So this was not a favorite scent of mine purely because it is very strong. Um, it is a definite headache inducer for me. Um, this one would be probably one I would put in maybe a laundry room, a bathroom, you know, something like that. It's a beautiful scent, but to me, it would be way too headache inducing. Um, but it is lovely. The warmer of that month was what was called etch core. So that's the, the three different styles they offered rose gold, silver, and gold. Um, they, in Scentsy, there is a, a regular etched core, which is just the, the porcelain kind of warmer. This one, these are metallic warmers. Um, very, very beautiful. They are 15 watts ceramic warmers for the little guys and 20 watt for the regular size. So that was January. Jade and Jasmine. Let me put that back. Next one, February. February brought us red pear and pomegranate. This was my first scent of the month. It is a fruit scent, nice, pretty red color. It says, sweet tart notes of pomegranate and rhubarb are polished by crisp, energizing red pear. And this is a very beautiful, fruity scent. I, I thought it was fantastic. So let me tell you a little bit about this one. Top notes, fresh orange, cherry, peach, nectar. Mid notes are red pear, pomegranate, cranberry. Base notes, wild raspberry, rhubarb, and baked apple. Okay, I don't smell baked apple, but I do seem to get that mix of those various red fruits in here. To me, it smells like it might have maybe some kind of a floral or a musky or something in it. And I don't know if that is one of the fruits that's in it that's doing it. But it was a very, very pretty scent. And I really did enjoy that one. In February, the warmer they brought out, it's a little bit harder to tell, but this is what it looked like. And it was, this is what, it, um, without the inserts. And then there were these three inserts so that you could change out the design of your warmer. And I'll show you here. So those were the three different inserts. So this was a really fun warmer, I thought. Um, I don't, I'm not a pink person, so I didn't um, get this warmer. I'm trying to think of, out of all the warmers of the month, I think I only got one of them. 
to be honest, looking at the scents. Okay, so red pear and pomegranate was a great scent. I think a great transition coming out of winter and into the spring. Um, this was the month in Oregon that we got our massive ice storm. We were out of power for 12 days. We have a generator. We, you know, living in the country, I think almost everybody out here has generators. So, um, yeah, so we had a, a generator and, uh, you know, kept us going. When the snow falls off our roof, we have a metal roof. Um, it sets Micah off. So just so you know. All right. Next scent, March. So March brought us pink sugarberry mint. This was so good. Oh, it's still so good. All right. Pink sugarberry mint is a bakery scent. And it says plump raspberry is delightfully dusted with sugar and the sweetest hint of peppermint. So I am not in the minority here. Most of us don't smell the peppermint. I think it adds kind of a cold, frosty kind of note to this. So top notes, plum, raspberry, strawberry. Ba or mid notes are peppermint, snowdrop, and peony, which I don't think I smell peony. And the base notes are sugar, coconut, vanilla, and fresh air accord. So whatever fresh air accord is. It's funny, I've already popped all these out and they still are hard to pop out. This is such a beautiful, very sweet scent. My husband really, really enjoyed this scent. Oh, it's so good. It is so, so good. Definitely a sweet, sugary, fruity, just absolute deliciousness. Okay, so the warmer of the month, birds of a feather. So this is what it looked like. And then lit up. Well, this, yeah, I guess the front kind of shows it. So lit up, it all lit up like this. This is the first warmer I bought um, on a uh, warmer of the month. So I just love this warmer. So this can kind of sit in the back. So it looks like, you know, just a bird. I had it sitting next to it. Because to me, it was kind of like it was sitting on its nest. And anyway, that's how I did it. So um, I love the bird of the, the feather. It was an element warmer and yeah, I just, I loved this, this warmer. It's so pretty. So that was March, February, February. We're definitely coming into the florals. We're coming into, um, better weather, those kinds of things. And so February or April brought us plumeria peach. So you know I love peach. My husband loves peach. This one though, this says it's a fruity scent. Okay, so ripe pineapple and luscious peach blended sweetly over a, bled, a bed of blooming plumeria. Here's the deal. It's floral. It says it's a fruity, but it's not. It's floral. I don't really, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't really smell much peach. Um, top notes, pineapple, cassis, and cucumber. Mid notes, jasmine, peach, and plumeria. Base notes are musk, raspberry woods, and amber. So to me, it might be a hint of peach, but it is a definite plumeria scent for me. Uh, it was beautiful, but a hint too much on the... Um, we do love Micah, don't we? a bit too much on the floral for me. Um, the warmer this month, my daughter ended up buying. It's called Life is Beautiful. It is an element warmer. This is all black and this lettering is an LED light up. I don't know. So that's what it looks like not lit up. And then lit up so you can see it's just an LED light up. Uh, she loved it. Um, I think she might have that one at school. She's a teacher. So Next one, May. We're still bringing in some floral. I'm um, adding a little bit of fresh, clean breeze. So this month of May brought in palm trees and ocean breeze. Very beautiful scent. 
Um, I really did enjoy this. Once again, floral. So this is under the fresh category. It says bright palm leaf and fresh coconut water sway to the rhythm of ocean breeze. Top notes, ripe wild strawberry, dewy palm leaf, coconut husk. Mid notes, vibrant pineapple, sparkling passion fruit, and green tree blossom. Base notes, sweet balsam, airy vanilla, and caramel musk. So, to me, it was really, really intense on florals or notes that would normally give me a headache. I did gift this to a lot of friends and customers um, who like those kinds of, of scents because it, it honestly, it wasn't for me. I did keep one of each scent just so you know, so I could do, do this um, rehash of the year. So the warmer of this month was really pretty. It was called Suck, Suck Cute Lent, Succulent, basically. So that's what it looked like. This was porcelain. And then these um, different vegetations here, you could place in any kind of array that you wanted. And this is an element um, warming dish here. It was insanely popular. Um, I don't have a green thumb. Um, so it wasn't really a warmer for me, but I know it was very, very, very popular. So that was May with Palm Tree and Ocean Breeze and the Succulent Warmer. Got to have my beverage. And no, it's not water. All right. Next one, June. This was a fun scent. I liked it. Appealing Apple. So as you know, Scentsy does apple, I think since he does apple really, really well. This is fruity and it's a sweet, sh uh, a sugary sweetness of juicy apple and lively pear are even more tempting with a touch of flowering sweet pea. So that's what makes this one different than Johnny Appleseed is it's got sweet pea in it. So it's a little bit more of a complex, diverse scent than Johnny Appleseed. You can smell that hint of that sweet pea in there and it just uh, tr transforms the scent a little bit beyond just Johnny Appleseed. Top notes, Earl Grey tea, pear and juicy apple, mid notes, green tea, jasmine and sweet pea. And then the base notes are spring crocus, white moss and musk. So as you can tell, it does have quite a bit of florally kind of musk scent in it. So this one I did mix a little bit. I think I, I think I did a few things. I mixed with like a, a buttercream or something like that to just bring down that floral just a hint. Um, Cause I can't do florals. They will give me a pretty raging headache. So it is, it's a beautiful scent. And I know that when this came out, it was like, all right, so appealing apple or Johnny Appleseed. You know, which one is, you know, more appealing? I really liked Appealing Apple because it was more diverse and more complex. Now, what's funny, though, is my um, my club order for next month, my brick I'm getting is Johnny Appleseed because I like apple and I can mix it with things. So even I can mix it with some of these, you know, scents that are out right now. Hi, my, my. My my came in. She's a good papa. She's a being a good girl. Just um, I can mix it with some of these cinnamony kind of scents and transform the the apple, but I can also transform that cinnamon into something that I can um, smell or tolerate. Basically, Mike's just gonna wander around back here like always. Okay, so the warmer of the month was very beautiful. But as you know, I have an obscene quantity of warmers, so I don't purchase every warmer that comes through. So this one was called Chromatic. It's, it's still very snowy outside, so sorry if it's so bright. So that was Chromatic. And I believe it was crushed glass. Yes, so crushed glass. It, you know, put all over the, the warmer. I mean, look how pretty that is. 
it was such a lovely warmer. Um, and it was a 25 watt bulb warmer. So very, very beautiful. So that was June appealing apple and the chromatic warmer. So the next one, okay, so this one I didn't completely understand. So it was July and it was called stargazing. Okay, very, I don't know, purple, almost black um, scent or wax. I'll admit, I didn't warm this one. Um, let me read you the notes. Okay, so it's in the fresh. Star kissed petals shine through fluffy cotton and soft vanilla clouds, making all your celestial dreams come true. So, top notes silky iris, white flowers, star kissed petals, mid notes, fluffy cotton, vanilla clouds, base notes, creamy sandalwood, and white musk. So, this is a headache waiting to happen. And I, oh, Okay, so I know that this was a popular scent for people who I think like jammy time. Um, you know, that kind of, they thought it was more of a sophisticated jammy time or something like that. I cannot stand this scent. It is very musky. Um, so if you like a good solid musk scent, this might be for you. Um, Obviously, a lot of these you can't get anymore unless they're already in your club. But I do like going through and talking about the year in Scentsy. This is my first year. Um, I got this idea from Carrie. She does it. And I think it's a great idea. Talking, showing, you know, the, the movement of Scentsy through the year. I liked it. So, didn't like the scent at all. So, <laughs> Micah. So the warmer though, to me, it was called above the clouds. It seemed a bit juvenile. This one, since I didn't order the scent, I don't have the brochure, so I printed it. It's a cloud. It's, it's a cute warmer, but to me, it's very juvenile. This would be something that I could see in a child's room, um, maybe as a, a nightlight, you know, in a kid's room, I think would be great. What doesn't make sense to me is while the warmer is really, really cute, it just seems weird pairing it with stargazing. To me, it seems a little disconnected, but um, there we go there. So that was July. So my birthday month, she just likes getting into mischief. My birthday month brought a fantastic scent, vanilla, blackberry so really pretty purple i love purple mm. okay so some people didn't like the vanilla blackberry so let's read this and you know there's black raspberry vanilla which is different than vanilla blackberry so different berries okay it's a fruity scent it says bold fruity blackberry draws you in with an amber and vanilla finish you definitely smell the amber in this one Top notes are bergamot and red berries. Mid notes are pink jasmine and green gauge plum. Um, base notes are amber, musk, vanilla, and cedar. Okay, so this is more than just, you know, a fruity scent to me. I think this almost could be counted in the woods category. It's a beautiful scent. It is very intense for me. So I had to limit the number of um, cubes that I would would warm because otherwise it would be a little on the strong side, but it's a beautiful scent. And I know it has that musk and the cedar in it. Sorry, but I, I loved it, but I love a good blackberry scent. And it says red berries, but I, you know, in the photo, it's showing like blackberries and raspberries. I just thought it was a, a beautiful scent. Not something I could melt all the time purely because of the cedar and the musks and, you know, that kind of stuff in it. But I really enjoyed that one. So the warmer of the month this month was really fun. It was called Night Sky. Isn't that just beautiful? I believe it was a glass warmer. Yes, mosaic of hand-painted glass accents shine in the, in the stellar display that 
that's as mesmerizing as the real thing. So you can see it's, I don't know, it's hard to tell, but it's kind of like the um, Forever Fall Warmer. It has, you know, almost like a, a texture to it. And then they put these glass, you know, embeds on top of it. So I thought it was beautiful. No, I did not order that one. But the scent for my month, my birthday month, I thought was a really, really good one. So then we start transitioning into fall and we've got to get started um, with our Halloween pumpkins, that kind of thing. Micah is being obnoxious out there. I think she's probably chasing a cat. All right. So the scent that came out in September was called Scary Good. So, you know, I get a whiff box. So I typically get to smell these in advance. And I did smell this one. I did not order this one. So the notes of this, it is bakery, which surprising I, I know that I didn't order it considering it's bakery, but it's pumpkin puree sprinkled with fresh cinnamon and counters toasted butterscotch and creamy vanilla in a spooky yummy treat. Okay, so my thing with this one, well, let's go through the base or the notes here. Cinnamon sticks, ground nutmeg, fresh clove. Mid notes, pumpkin puree, Indonesian ginger. And the base notes are sweet butterscotch, creamy vanilla, and sugared musk. So for me, I am not really a, a fan of butterscotch. I'm trying to get it out. So some people equated this to just like a nice, fresh, clean pumpkin scent. Micah. You can smell spices. I think it says fresh cinnamon, but I don't know. I think I'm smelling something else. Good, she's laying down. Maybe clove, maybe that Indonesian ginger. It is a good pumpkin scent. It just wasn't one for me. There's When I warmed it, it that toasted butterscotch came out and it was so sickening sweet. Um, I just, I could not handle the sweetness of this, just like some Mac apples I can't handle. Um, oh gosh, there's one that's insanely, insanely, insanely popular that people love and I, I can't do it. What is it? What is it? What is it? Um, is it in bakery? Oh, I'm looking in spice. All right, let's see. Now I'm not finding it. Oh, oh maybe it's not out this season. Um, but it's a, a caramely apple scent, and it's so, so strong uh, and so sweet. I just can't do it. Bella, off. Micah off. Now you just knock that down, you dork. We keep a baby gate there. Mm. All right, so I can't handle super, super sweet scents. And this one just, it was like so, so sweet that um, it just wasn't a scent for me. But I didn't, okay, so I'm not a Halloween person. and Never claimed to be. Um, I did it growing up, but as an adult, I my girls always celebrated with their dads. So, the warmer, though, was pretty cute. I didn't order it. Isn't that just the cutest thing? So, it's called Haunting Good Time. It was a metal warmer. And then, so you could see the, the lights come out of the different um, parts of the warmer. It was insanely popular because I guess they had one out last year. Isn't that just the cutest? Got to have the little black cat and the bat. So, this was, this was a really fun warmer. And the scent is is okay, just it wasn't a scent for me. So now we're transitioning definitely into fall and October, and we come out with one that was a little different. So we have Scary Good, which is pumpkin, right? Well, they wanted to bring in something a little different, and they brought in what I actually, I really enjoyed this one. Um, I didn't melt it a whole lot because of 
um, kind of how strong it was, but it was called Fairy Tale Pumpkin. I mean, it's like, I don't know, maybe it's a blue wax. Yeah, I'd say that's a blue wax, right? Okay. This is so unique. I've never smelled um, a, a pumpkin-y fall scent like this. So this one, Fairy Tale Pumpkin, it's called, it's in the fruity category. An epic fantasy of harvest pumpkin, midnight black raspberry, and a whisper of black licorice. I don't get licorice. I love black licorice. I eat black licorice. I love black jelly beans. You know, I love those flavors. Oh, it is so unique. It is so different. Okay. Top notes, cinnamon, spiced pomander, and black licorice. Mid notes, harvest pumpkin, wild blueberry, midnight black raspberry. And then the base notes are vanilla bean, dark maple sugar, and toasted pecan. So this one, very, I, I found it very strong. Um, very different, very unique. Um, oh, it's, it's, it's almost hard to describe because you have these dark, just think of it. It's a very dark scent, right? And you have that hint of spice, but not like a ton of spice. Cause it says spice pomander, which if you don't know what a pomander, it's an orange with all the cloves stuck in it. So maybe that's the cinnamon and the spiced pomander is what I'm getting. And then you have that, that hint of black licorice that comes out. Um, I mean, just slightly, you really just don't even and smell it unless you're like, oh, okay, I think I might smell black licorice. And then you have all those deep, rich, dark berries. And there's gotta be, I know sometimes blackberry can come across as perfumey or musky or those kinds of things. Um, I know it did in the vanilla raspberry, um, but it, it was complex, strong. It was headache inducing. There's something in it that um, was a bit much for me, but I really, really enjoyed that scent. The warmer though, oh my gosh. So this is the only other warmer I bought. My throat gets sore. I don't know, any of you YouTubers out there, does your throat start getting sore? Mine does. Okay. This warmer, the second I saw it, so we, on the last day of the month, we have a, a live that happens and we get to see the, the warmer. I had to have it. Look at that warmer. It is stunning. It was, it was beyond so what was it called? Mosaic pumpkin. This warmer was so beyond stunning that when I got it, I was like, holy cow. So it's very dark. It's got this great, you know, um, metal work up top and this, uh, oh, what do they call that? The grout on it was dark and but then when you when you light it and um I kept it up until well into December and I changed the bulb to red it's a 20 watt so you had to have a 20 watt bulb but oh my word people this warmer was stunning stunning if I could keep up a pumpkin warmer all year I would it was amazing. I loved it. I hope they bring it back next year, maybe part of Harvest Collection or something like they did. Um, the the other pumpkin, I I ended up selling my other pumpkin because I, I don't do Halloween, right? But I had to have this warmer. It was, it was so good. Anyway, awesome. So fairy tale pumpkin, fun scent. I really, really enjoyed it. Okay. So now, now we're transitioning out of pumpkins and we have to get ready for Christmas, right? And so getting ready for Christmas brings in tree scents. I love tree scents. So this one, icicles and evergreen. All right, so one thing I found about myself this year though, I may love tree scents, but tree scents do not like me. Um, my husband really can't stand them. I guess he used to 
um, cut down Christmas trees or something growing up. Maybe it was a side, you know, business or something with his parents. Um, so he can't do Christmas tree sets. But I did, I, I bought the kit, so I have nine of these. All right, so icicles and evergreen. Blue eucalyptus and pine needles iced with crystallized sugar. And it's in the fresh category. Looks like some fog is rolling in. I'll be honest, we're on day six of snow. So day six of being in my house, I'm really ready to get out. But I never learned to drive in it. And I'll be honest, I mean, I could drive in it. You know, Tim will teach me. Uh, he's a professional driver. Um, but I'm not worried about myself. I'm worried about other people because of my inexperience. Yes, I'm 47 years old. But we don't really get a lot of snow. Um, where I live now, yes, we do. But, uh, yeah, never really learned to drive in it. So I've been stuck at home, working from home with Miss Micah. Okay, so let's get back to this. I digress. All right, top notes. Blue eucalyptus, fresh clove, pine needles. Mid note. Crisp apple, watery peach, pear blossoms. I, I... Sorry, there's no peach in this scent. All right, base notes, white birch, cinnamon bark, crystallized sugar. So for me, it is a very tree scent. Beautiful tree scent. Loved this tree scent. But when I warmed it, my headache was severe. Um, I live with headaches daily. There is never a moment in time I do not have a headache. Um, it just is what it is. When I eat poorly, my headaches are worse in certain sense. So I can't be around roses, a lot of flowers, those kinds of things, and, and some some sense. Like my mom's really bad. She, I mean, she can't even be around perfumes and stuff. And usually perfumes will give me a nasty headache as well. So um, I have a couple perfumes. Oh, uh, why? I know Danny is all about perfume. Why by YSL? I know it's a cologne, but it is so, so good. I love it. Why by YSL? Yves, Yves Saint, Laurent, Saint Laurent. YSL. Anyway, I loved this scent. It didn't love me. What are you going to do? So the warmer though, I, I didn't get either of these warmers. I thought about the last one, but isn't he cute? So these were little cubes that you could move around, you know, to count down the days. I believe he was element. Yeah, he's an element warmer. So you, there's no lighting up of, of him, but he was so, so cute. The reason I didn't get him is... There is a hole at the top of his head and that and some holes on the back. I don't think it shows. No. And that was the only way the scent would come out. So for me, in order to get a good throw using him, I would want to take his top half off. And then what's the point? So for me, this was not not a good warmer for me. Wow. It's like, ah, oh, gummit! it's starting to snow again. What the heck? <sighs> anyway. Not the scent for me, or not the, not the warmer for me, because I I want to be able to really smell the the scent, and some of the warmers that came out um, that were snowmen, the back half of them was you know they were metal warmers and the back half was was gone so that the scent could come out. This it would come out as hat. So while I thought he was insanely cute, um, it just wasn't a, a warmer for me, and the scent was really really good, but headache inducing which brings me to december the king and queen of uh tree scents so this is when i would normally warm a tree scent is december so i prior to micah we don't have a tree now i don't even know if i can alter the coloring in here sorry it's getting so bright so we don't have a tree but but Prior to that, I did have a tree and it was a fake tree. So, you know, those little sticks, you know, those little narrow little sticks you can hang from things. So 
that's what I used to do is I would hang, you know, the, the little sticks around the tree. It was just this really soft, you know, pine scent to make it seem like, gosh, there. Cut out some of that brightness. Holy cow. Um, to uh, bring out some of that tree scent since it was a fake tree. So the last scent of the month was beautiful. Black forest pine. So this scent, pine. This was a definite pine scent. One um, I don't think Lori... Uh, Brown would be able to to handle at all. It's way there's there's not even any hint of non tree in this. So this one is a wood, and it says dark fir balsam accented by peppered tangerine and an air of smoked vanilla. Okay, top notes: cool eucalyptus, pine needles, and pepper tangerine. Mid notes: green apple, aged cedar wood, lush oak moss. Base notes, dark fir balsam, black walnut, and smoked vanilla. All I smell is tree. I don't smell anything else in this scent. Um, I don't, well, smoked vanilla, I guess that would get, lend a, a smoky scent maybe. Actually, on the bottom, I might on the bottom get a hint of tangerine. In eucalyptus, maybe, maybe. But when warmed, um, I did, because I had an, an issue with a, the other tree scent, I did not warm this one, but I, or warm the bar, but I did warm the sample I received. Very, very strong, but a beautiful, beautiful tree scent. Um, it was... If you, everything I would think a tree scent should be is, is the scent was. Cause like the icicles and evergreen lended a little bit. It, there was a, let me see. There's a softerness to softerness. Is that, is that even a word? So it is softer. This is deep. Like, well, this one was fresh. This is definitely wood. This is like, you have your nose buried in a tree and you can smell the wood. You can smell the needles. You can smell all that within the tree. It's a great scent. Definite headache inducing. So, um, the warmer. I really, I went back and forth. I have so many warmers and my husband, every time a new warmer comes in, he's like, so I got a new warmer for Christmas um, oh, it's over here that, so these are all glass. I have a curio cabinet filled with blown glass and that kind of thing. I love glass. And so my daughter now has started getting me glass warmers. So she got me this one and then she had got me this one. And so I'm like, and when I opened the warmer at Christmas, Tim was like another warmer. I'm like, it's pretty. So anyway, so I thought about getting it and I didn't. I don't know, look at it. It's so pretty. So this metal is on the outside. So this is a sheath that comes down over it. And the trees on the inside are also metal. And this glass slides down between the outside metal and the inside metal. Uh, what's it called? Nature's Wonders. And the reason I thought about getting this one is I live in the country. We have deer. Actually, we have the cutest jackrabbit. Um, prints through the snow. Jack rabbits, if you don't know her, they look like giant rabbits. So um, I am lucky Micah hasn't caught them. So Carcels have an insane prey drive. So I'm lucky that she hasn't been out rooting for jack rabbits and rabbits and, you know, all those kinds of things. But, but look, my printer sucks. So, but look at this. So I'm thinking if it goes on clearance sometime, I may buy it. I just, I think it's so beautiful. I think it would go with our house really, really well. Um, so, so that was December. 
it was, it was it's such a beautiful warmer. Okay, so let's go through the scents. As you know, I probably gave you a little bit of a hint of, sorry, a hint of my, my loves and my, my not loves. My least favorite scent, looking over, my least favorite was definitely stargazing. I couldn't even warm it. Warm it. Now there is, there's something about it. I just, I could not warm it at all. So July, yes, July stargazing number 12. The next one was, I know it seems a little odd that this one would be number 11, but it was scary good. It smells okay on cold, but when I warmed it, there was just the butterscotch, the something in it. I I had to take it out of the warmers. I didn't like it. Had to come out. So the next one, the reason why this is the next one, while why it while it's a very beautiful scent, it was headache inducing for me. And that was palm trees and ocean breeze. So it is a beautiful, beautiful scent. I did gift this to my coworker's mom because she loved it. She's also a customer. Um, it's a beautiful scent, but man, the headache I got from that one. Um, so palm, tree, palm trees and ocean breeze is number 10. So number nine. And the reason... I guess call, falls along the same lines. While it's a beautiful, beautiful scent, Jade and Jasmine, there was, it was just too perfumey, too masculine, um, too headache inducing for me. So that one has to fall to number nine. Number eight and seven, unfortunately, they kind of have to go hand in hand in a way. And that is the two pine scents. I loved these scents, but because of the headaches that they gave me, it they have to fall lower in the like, purely because of the headaches. Nothing beyond because of the headaches. They were amazing, beautiful scents, but the headaches were too much. So seven and eight, right? Six. Gosh, there's, these are such good scents. Okay, so six. Oh. Six, I'm going to do Plumeria Peach. So, it's snowing heavy again. You people who live in the snow, props. Okay, so I really did enjoy this one, but the reason it's number six is is because it's more plumeria than peach. I wish it was more like peach nectar. So it was heavier in the peach, less in the plumeria. So number six. Number five, fairy tale pumpkin. So unusual, so different. Really, really good scent. Um, but I'm gonna have to put that one as number five just because I there's other ones I like better. So number four. Actually, hang on. Okay, number four, I'm going to do red pear and pomegranate. Um, it was just, it was okay. It was a, it was a beautiful scent. Oh, where's Micah going? Um, it was a great scent. Um, but I wouldn't consider it one of my top three of the year. So red pear and pomegranate is going to come in at number four. Number three, vanilla blackberry. So I know it's musky. I know it's, I know it's headache inducing, but there was something beautiful about this scent. It was just, it was different. Um, I don't know if it was like that blackberry note. I don't know. Anyway, it was good. So that one's coming in at number three. Number two is a peeling apple. And you're like, what? It's got sweet pea in it. You're right, it does, but 
that mix of apple with the sweet pea, it's more apple heavy. And I think if the sweet pea gets to be too much, I can mix a little bit of Johnny Appleseed in with it and make it apple -ier. But that was good. But my hands down 100% favorite scent of the year, Pink Sugarberry Mint. And somehow I deleted it out of my club. So the catalog is coming out in February. All I can do is go, please, 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 can this be in the catalog? If not, I'm buggered. But there is a scent similar to it. Um, but Pink Sugarberry Mint, it is sweet. That, that just slight hint of mint adds this coolness to it. It was hands down my absolute favorite scent of the year. So there we go. Oh, and when it comes to warmers, my absolute favorite warmer of the year was definitely the Mosaic. Hands down, favorite warmer of the year. Um, it, it It's a stunning warmer. It's an absolutely stunning warmer. So that's what I have for you. That is a countdown. There's no way I can even hold all these of all the bars for the sense of the month. I will be starting again. They'll start getting piled up right there. And we will do this again next year. So today is New Year's Eve. It This probably won't go up because obviously I'm not going to get into town to upload the video, but I hope you guys have an amazing 2022. Please be kind. Please be loving to each other. Um, there have been a lot of um, no, there's been one. There's been one person who has been putting down Sensi consultants who um, love all wax, not just Sensi wax. She has hurt our feelings. She has put us down, belittled us. Um, she, she's been not as bad to me as she has to my wonderful friend, Susan. Um, so all I can do is implore to you guys in 2022, be kind. You don't know what people are going through. Um, you know, I, I don't mention it much, much, but you know, my husband has lung cancer. My father-in-law has lung cancer. Um, you don't know what we're going through. And when you sit and, and bash us, you know, um, it hurts. You know, a lot of us have a lot of thick skin. You know, you can't be a YouTuber without thick skin. Um, it's just not kind. So I ask you guys, please be kind. Please be loving. You don't know what is going on on the other side of the camera. You don't know what we're struggling with or what we're having to deal with. So, um, you know, whether it's a YouTuber or, you know, someone in a Facebook group or just someone that you meet on the street, be kind, be loving. Um, it's been a difficult couple of years. Um, so I just ask, be kind be loving, be, be giving of words, um, lift people up. Don't put them down. Okay. So just going to put that out there to you guys. So I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.